All right, so we just had two incredible weddings in a span of two amazing months. And um, actually what happened was last year also, Rainy and I weren't able to celebrate our 10 year anniversary because of COVID. So we are celebrating our 11th and 10th year anniversary here during the wedding as well. So we are in a very nice resort. Now I wanted to talk about marriage. And since while, while we're already here, we're talking about marriage, we had two weddings. Um, I just wanted to bring up an idea or a thought. A lot of people, even Christians, hear the advice that says, uh, happy wife, happy life. And I wanted to say that this was, this is really bad advice. It's unbiblical advice for several reasons. Now, uh, if you're a Christian, you understand that the husband is the head of the family, the head of the, the home, just as Christ is the head of the church. Now, when you think about it that way, it means there's a principle there. There's an implication for an application based on a principle that just as the wife is, uh, just as the church submits to Christ, then the, the wife submits to the husband as unto the Lord. So that means that in all decisions in the home, when I say all, I, I qualify that. Of course, all decisions, uh, not just in terms of like the big issues in life, but even the, uh, the smaller issues in life, no? uh, in, in the marriage, the default should be the husband taking the lead and making the decisions and the wife submitting. And the reason for that is you want to create, if you're a Christian, if you're a Christian family or a Christian couple, you guys would probably want to create a family culture where the wife is very used to submission. If you think about it for a moment, just, just pause for a moment. Um, between Christ and the church, Christ gives us his word, the Bible. And there are so many um, applications in scripture. And between Christ and the church, the default is that the church submits to Christ. The default is never Christ submitting to the church. And so in that case, in that sense, and if we take that principle, then the wife should also, by default, be the one submitting to the husband. Of course, that, that doesn't mean the wife cannot protect, uh, correct the husband because we're both still human. Um, but in general, that should be the direction of the marriage. Uh, also, um, there's a very big difference between spoiling and supporting. Sometimes husbands trying to be supportive of their wives end up spoiling their wives. And, and this causes a lot of problems, a lot of issues, because when wives are spoiled or when any spouse is spoiled, then the marriage goes haywire. Imagine if God spoils the church. We know that's not the case, but, but imagine if, 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 okay? So again, if God spoils the church, the church becomes this uh, spoiled, disobedient, rebellious uh, kind of church. And we kind of, we kind of see that uh, in, in the Old Testament with Israel, right? So uh, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Basically, when it comes to decisions, here's the main advice. It's not about making sure the husband always wins because the wife has to submit to the husband. It doesn't mean the wife should always uh, win uh, arguments or decisions or discussions. But rather, uh, based on Rainy and I, our, my experience is this. Um, I have experienced so much tremendous joy and blessing um, in the fact that we try to make decisions that are the most biblical and the most reasonable for both of us at any given time. Which means there are times that Rainy uh, makes a decision that's really good. There are times I make the decision that's really good. There are times when, when quote-unquote I win. There are times when quote-unquote she wins. What matters is not who wins. What matters to us is that as a couple, we create a culture and a dynamic wherein by default she submits to me because I'm head of the home and uh, we still double check one another in terms of our decisions that they are reasonable, that they are biblical and the decision that brings both of us satisfaction, joy, that is reasonable to both of us and is biblically accurate and biblically sound. Plus, there's the default, again, like the, the, the general principle that she's submitting to me uh, as head of the home. It humbles me and causes me to want to serve her some more. And it also um, kind of helps her as well in her uh, learning humility in the same sense. So both of us are, are humbled by this uh, default in the home. And that really has helped us in our marriage for what we've been married. Uh, we've been married since 2010. It's 2021. So that's, I guess, the advice I'd like to give 
uh, when it comes to this whole uh, happy wife, happy life. I would rather say uh, sanctified spouses equals sanctified marriage or sanctification equals satisfaction in marriage. So the more sanctified you are, the more satisfied you'll also be. It doesn't work the other way around. You don't get satisfied first and sanctified after. Sanctification is the cause. The effect is satisfaction and that only happens when we obey God's word we obey God's principles and we we follow the the truths found in his word and that helps marriages a lot god bless you guys